Shalom. All praise and glory to you. How was Shah? 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 But hey, like the apostle said, man, hey, you, you know, when you come in this thing, you got to be able to control your, your emotions, man. All right? And these Christians can't do that. Why can't Christians control their emotions? Because they they let they flesh rule over them, man. All right? They, they flesh rule over them. All right? That's why they act on emotion. That's why they all love. That's an effeminate trait too, man. All right. Always want to show love and this and that. Hey, the scriptures say what? Hey, get that in Proverbs. Uh, uh, what say, um... He that seeketh love cover for transgression. I think it's like Proverbs 17, Bible can show. And, and, and the Lord is not all about love because the Lord is about balance. Right. Yeah, like, yeah, like the apostle said, right, that's the balance because he was talking about how, um, you know, you got a um, the bitter and the sweet, you know. That's the balance. And these Christians, they just want everything to be sweet, man. Yeah, how about Shemel Shah? That's a, a false balance. It's abomination. You know where that said in Proverbs, Proverbs? All right, yeah, come. Let me look up yeah, in there real is, quick. Uh, uh -huh. Proverbs 17 and uh, 9, it says, He that covered for transgression seeketh love. Right, he that covered for transgression seeketh love. And that's all these damn Christians want. Because when the so-called white man came over here with Bible and told claiming that Christianity, he was doing what, man? He was doing killing. We was just talking about We in Columbus. All right, the the uh, the, the uh, capital state of Ohio, man. All right, well, for who? Cristobal Colon. We always better say he he wrote in his diary he didn't put his sword down for out, man. Right. So read that again, Bob Kisha. It says Proverbs 17 and 9. It says, He that covered for transgression seeketh love. Right, and that's what these Christians, because that's where Christianity comes from. Alright? You know? He keep these Christians seeking love. That's all they want to do, just love, love, love. But yet and still all they do is push out hate. Yeah. So it's the opposite of the great millstone, man. Or so it's any other brothers that's pushing that they they Hebrew into life. Because they're the camps, they telling the truth too to an extent. You feel me? Like the apostle said, man. You know? And that's what these Christians doing, man. They covering transgressions. Because why? They wicked at the end of the day. They trying to act like they all good and stuff, man. And that's what they do. They they do they do uh, all type of wickedness uh, Monday through Saturday. And then on Sunday, right after they done, uh, uh, left the club, man. Mm -hmm. All right, they, they go to church, man. What? To do what, man? Commit all type of adultery. Mm -hmm. You know? That's yeah, all they right. do in churches is uh, commit adultery, man. Mm-hmm. And that's what these, these Christians do, man. They cover through transgressions. That cause they be going off and try to cover that up with the all the love. Alright? Cause we know we ain't perfect. We already cause the script cause the scriptures say what? He that believeth on me as the scriptures say, right? Yeah. They don't believe on this on the most high and the son as the scriptures say. Right. First and foremost, they always they never go go into this this for Christians, man. They never go into the Hebrew or the Greek, the Latin, you know? Y'all don't really believe on the scriptures, man. They just have a zeal. Exactly. As the scriptures say, my people have a zeal, yeah. uh, but not according to knowledge, roughly paraphrased. And that zeal that they got has puffed them up, man. Here it is. We know a lot of stuff about history and everything on like that to correlate it with the scriptures. And we could go in here and challenge these people at their churches and stuff like that. Or if O'Kell okay, Malone's, what is he preaching? Christianity? Who, we, we, hey, man. Salaki, if you can finish that, Salaki. It says, he that curse for transgression seek of love, but mm -hmm. he... That repeated for matters separated very friends. Mm -hmm. He that repeated for matters to separate very friends, man. All right? And like I was saying, these Christians, they too emotional. They get that other one in Proverbs you had. Right, Hold on. Salakia, not now, though. Okay. Salakia. You know, they, they too emotional, man. You know? Hey, the scripture says, feminine shall not inherit the kingdom. Yeah, like the kingdom, man. That's a, Hey, we're going to get that too, man. Yeah. That's 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Yeah, we're going to get that too, Lord willing, man. All right, but they they too emotional, man. You know, hey, because that's the thing about it. We ain't say you ain't supposed to be emotional. We emotional. We we human beings. Yeah. The most high Yahweh, he's emotional. Should talk about he's a jealous power, things of that nature. You know, he he had different emotions. He anger, wrath. You know, those are different emotions that the heavenly Father has. So we he they made us in the image of him, right? So we emotional. We ain't telling people how not to be emotional, but you gotta control your emotions, man. You gotta control your emotions when you're in this thing. And you gotta be truthful with yourself. You can't lie to yourself, man. So lucky, you, you got it. 
Oh, this first Corinthians. No, let, oh, okay. Let, let the brother get that too, real quick. This is uh, Proverbs 16 and 32. He that is slow to anger mm -hmm. is better than the mighty. And he that ruleth the spirit, then he that taketh the city. Right, you know, you got to be slow to anger. You got to remember, realize, scripture say what? Uh, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but a principality, a bit spiritual wickedness in high places. That's why you got to be slow to anger, because at the end of the day, why? Because you know there's demons on these people. That's, right. that's why. And that's why they're doing the things they do. That's a test from the Heavenly Father. And like your brother says, it's easier said than done, you know? Real talk, the things that the scripture tells us to do, but we try our hardest, man. You know, we say, hey, can you read that again, Mother Kusha? The Proverbs 16 and 32 says, He that is slow to anger is better mm -hmm. than, he, than the mighty. Right, and this is how you know they they, they not slow to anger. Hey, look, the, 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 the demon, man, the nigga woman, Cherry Hill, out there with the brothers in Chicago. Cherry Hill, Vocab oh, yeah, the G-Cub, yeah, yeah. man. You know, you know, it's like, one more time, Mother Kusha. It's Proverbs 16 and 32. He that is slow to anger is Yeah, better. right, they were still screaming, man, having a yelling match. You know, and then what they do, they, once you get that anger, because the scripture talk about anger is not meant, meant for men, roughly paraphrase it. Because when you get angry, then what? They want to get carnal, man. Because they can't do nothing spiritual. They don't got the spirit. Because they don't believe in the scripture. Because as it did, they'll flow like rivers of living water. And out of their belly shall flow rivers of living water. These Christians, man. And that's why they come to get, see, we got the tip. Oh, man, this thing is great, right, brother? Yeah. Because, okay. I got a precept. This uh Matthew 5. And five, it said, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit oh, the Oh, man, we want to go to the meek, man, the you meek. know? Blessed are the meek, great, you know? Blessed are the meek, because that's a cold word when you go into the etymology of that word, man. You know, let's get a little bit of it. That word meek, I got it right here. See, that's how, you know? That's all meek. of it. Yeah, right. Uh, pr it say, pra you know how you spell praise? I'm not sure that's how you pronounce it, but that says G4239, the, 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 uh, the Greek, all right? The Greek translation for meek, all right? It said mildness of disposition, gentleness of spirit. Right. You got to be gentle with your spirit. You got to be calm, man. You know? You got to be in, you know, gotta, you got to be in control gotta of your spirit control. like the brother just read, man. We all emotional, man. Of course. But that's the difference between the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, you know, and Christians. Like Vocab Malone. Jesus is the word, you know? Yeah, and that's all That's all part of uh, being in, uh, in the world, man. Can't, not controlling yourself because these niggas bugged out in the world. That's why the Lord chose us out of the world, man. So mm -hmm. the things that you, uh, cause all of us, uh, we ain't had no control of our uh, ourself, man, when we in, we was in the world. Mm -hmm. We'll fall off the hook in a minute, man. But when you come in this truth, you're supposed to leave all that behind and put on that new man, man, as the scriptures say, man. Right. Yeah, because um, Christians, they uh, they advocates for, uh, for, for white supremacy. I don't care what color they is, you feel me? I don't care what nationality it is. If you push it, if you push the Christianity, you're an advocate for white supremacy. Devil's advocate. Like the movie, man, with uh the Keanu Reeves, yeah, it was that Al Pacino, Devil's Advocate. Cause the advocate uh, advocate is somebody who's endorsing something, man. They all endorsing white supremacy, man. And that's the thing about it. That's why Christians falling off, cause this something the, the Lord says sing a new song, man. Well, did you ask something, brother? Yeah, real quick. Okay. Is uh Ecclesiastes seven and eight. Mm -hmm. like a nine. It says, "Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got it. Okay. Yeah, it says, "Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry." Like when them Christians, one thing they do when they come up, they look at that uh, that uh, uh, Jesus, so-called Jesus sign. Mm -hmm. and they say, "Oh, why you got horns mm -hmm. on the devil?" Uh, yeah. <laughs> then they yeah, they call us devil worshippers and all that stuff. They got to They don't. They don't examine the situation first. Mm -hmm. and then you know, that's like this is scripture and Proverbs. I mean, uh, Ecclesiastes and where. But uh, they, they just they just go straight to the uh, to the uh, to the conclusion. Mm -hmm. You don't want to examine first. The scripture says be circumspect. You gotta watch. Mm -hmm. You gotta watch what you're doing. You gotta watch what you say. You gotta watch what you eat. Christians don't do that. They just do. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That's right. It's just gluttonous. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right. This Proverbs 17 verse 15 it said, "He that justifies the wicked and he that condemns right. the just." Right. Christians, Christians justify the wicked. Who is the wicked? These damn devils. These Edomites, man. AKA the Caucasian race, man. All right. And these Christians, these Christy pastors, they justify the wicked, man, by feeding you this, this this BS, basically, man, you know? By feeding you this BS, man, by not telling you the truth. Huh. Yeah, read that it's again, Bob Kishore. It's uh, Proverbs 17 and 15. It say, mm -hmm. he that justifies the wicked, mm -hmm. he that condemneth the just. And yeah, then they justify this devil, then they condemn us, man. Condemn our apostles and elders, man, you know? Saying things, hey, you know, because they had to do the, what's his name, uh, Travis Scott with the video. 
stop trying to be God. And in that video, he portrayed the Most High as a so-called black man. And you got the valiant Christian, and these people talking about uh, uh, that's blasphemous and this and that. The Most High is a so-called black man. There's many of scriptures that tell you that. And these Christians, see, man, these Christians is, man, they follow out the, the flesh, man. They don't follow the spirit. It's lucky. Or it says, uh, it's, uh, Proverbs 17 and 15, it says, He that justifieth the wicked, mm -hmm. and he that condemneth the just, even they both are an abomination to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah, an abomination is a disgusting thing to the Heavenly Father, man. Yep. But here it is, you got these pastors that's justifying uh, you being a homosexual, man. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they got this saying uh, in the world, hey, come as you are, man. That's not what the scriptures say, man. Mm -hmm. All right, you, why would the Lord want you to uh, uh, come as a homosexual, man? When the scriptures say, man, if mankind live with mankind as with womankind, you should be uh, surely put to death, man. All right, but you uh, pastors are, are justifying that, man. You justifying the fact that uh, 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 you oppressing the people, man. All right, and you, uh, what they under the covenant, that uh, 503 yeah, charter? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, the, uh, uh, pushing uh, wickedness, man. I, I gotta, yeah, I gotta, that's a gag order yeah, with come. the 50, because that's a Texas gym charter. What well, these pastors do. see, people don't do, see our people. They don't do no research. That's why our people really in the in the the, the 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 conditions that they really in. They don't do no research, and then they want to blame it on the next man. Right. Blame the next. Blame the Most High for their problems. Talking to the Most High, talking about where and how's thou loved us. That's what you Negroes, Latinos, Native Seminole Indians do, man. The people who make up the twelve tribes of Israel. You got something? Out? Yeah. Oh, this is Jeremiah twenty three. All right, verse one. It say, "Woe be unto the pastors." They destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor. Right, they got people more confused, man. We all ultimately we know it's the most high. Like you said from the beginning, we this here to feed here to feed the elect, man. The elect go hit the most high said, My sheep hear my voice and follow me, man. So lucky. Yeah, and then you know, uh you got you got Jake out here that don't go to church, all right? They lost, all right. But when you go to church, you get even more lost. All right, that's why the scriptures say, woe be unto the pastors, man. Mm -hmm. So, the, hey, the Lord is not coming back to uh, pat you pastors on the back, man. The, yeah, well, the Lord is coming back. Death and destruction. Death and destruction to you pastors because you you misleading Israel. Mm -hmm. And that's one of uh, es Esau's uh, tactics, man. Yeah, right. They set up these churches in the uh, low poverty neighborhoods. Because uh, the word religion, go back to the Greek word religio, which means to uh, hold back. Yeah, get that Titus. What is that, one? We're going to talk about that, you know. It's lucky. And it says... Uh, Woe uh, be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor, said the Lord. And that the pastor of the Lord is the, the nation of Israel, man. All right? The so-called Negroes, Latinos, Navy, Seminole Indians. Y'all, the, that's the pastor of the Most High, yo. You know, go ahead. They say, therefore, thus said the Lord, mm -hmm. God of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people, ye mm -hmm. have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Right, driving them away. And the majority of these pastors, they know too, man. Because this is what Esau told them. You know, they're in a the contract with them. The scripture talk about that in Isaiah, the 28th chapter. Hell, we, we are in agreement. That's right. Talking about they contract covenant where hell going to be this and all that. That scripture, roughly paraphrasing. They all, they be knowing, man. Like these high-level pastors, because you know why? So like it. They got to do what? Rituals. Rituals. You know, they got to do different shit. You know, like T.D. Jakes, somebody who got a mega church. Somebody like a Joel Osteen. They got to do certain things, man. You know? They got to do, they got to have certain spells, chants and all that, man. Come on. It's a little more accepted. They high level demons, man. Right. People who got who people in the uh the seat like that, man. T D J Crypto Dollars yeah, and all they, these. They gotta choose, man. They got they, they gotta choose, man. The, you know the uh, Esau put it to the uh, bring it uh, forth to them and they gotta choose whether they wanna, you know, choose life or death, man. They know they know the truth, man. They know the truth, man, but why? They know that they're gonna be burnt by those missiles, man, but they choose to uh uh they, they choose the uh the prize they choose living pleasures, living for, pleasures sin, for a season for a moment for a moment yeah yeah, yeah uh, uh, Hebrews eleven to twenty five man yeah that's a good one yeah, instead of uh, uh let's matter of fact uh, yeah. grab that bubble shot what's that Hebrews eleven to twenty five yeah Con I'll grab this uh rest of this real quick it, and it reads um it reads ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evils of your doing, said the Lord. And everybody know when the Lord come back to visit, what day is that, man? Amos uh, 5 and 18, man. Woe for you to desire the day of the Lord, cause the, especially those Christians, man. Those, especially you, 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 uh, uh, you nigga women, older nigga women, man. Uh, you always talk about the day of the Lord, and when the yeah. Lord come back, you know, thinking it's gonna be a, a, a bright sunny day, man. And hey, the right. day of the Lord is darkness, man. Right. right. And the women outnumber men. That's, That's why right. I say seven women shall take over, cause women outnumber men. You can get yours real quick, though. I, I know you was holding something, and then I'm gonna get that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I thought you had something before that. Oh yeah, real quick. Uh, yeah. Second Peter. Uh, two and one it says, but there were false prophets 
also among the people, even mm-hmm. as they're mm-hmm. Yeah, like Dathan, going back to the, uh, you know, the wilderness, he was oh, a yeah. false prophet, yeah. told the people Moses is dead, oh, he yeah. made the laws itself. Right. That yeah. damn false prophet. Excuse me, brother, you got it. It says, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who perfectly mm-hmm. shall be. Yeah. Yep, false teachers among who, uh, the nation of Israel, man, who pervert the, the, the laws, that's the commandments. Go ahead. Even denying the Lord that mm-hmm. brought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. That's right. That's all that's coming to them. Swift destruction, man. Denying the Most High. You know? Denying His holy name, His precious name. Okay? So that's what they doing. You know, here it is. We, we come in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And the, and the person hear that name, they be like, who are, who are, who are your God? Who are you serving? Uh, your God is not sovereign or this and that and this and that. But hey, as the scriptures say, man, the Lord going to make it. You're going to know who the Lord is, man. You're going to know who Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is, man. In, 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 in the near future, man. Yep. Is that it on that? What you had? Yeah, that was it on that. Oh, you say you had something? Oh, I get this. This Hebrews chapter 11 and uh. 25. Yeah, 20, 20, 24. Yeah, right. I'm going to read them start at 24. It said, but by faith, Moses, when he was when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. Yeah, because, uh, you, you know, if you know the story about Moses, man, you know, he, 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 he was uh, brought up by the Pharaoh's daughter, man. All right. And, uh, you know, the Egyptians had everything, man. And, uh, and Moses didn't want to be a part of that, man. Moses wanted to be a part of, of, uh, of being an Israelite. And that's what you niggas don't want to do, man. You niggas don't want to suffer as an Israelite, man. All right. What you niggas uh, known to be African-Americans. Mm-hmm. You don't want to suffer the poverty. All right. You don't want to uh, uh, be on low. You don't want to serve your punishment that the Lord put upon us. Keep going. I'll get still some more on that. He said, verse 25, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of the Most High Yahweh than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Because that's all it's for, man. It's for a season. It's for a short period of time, man. Here it is. You you, 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 you niggas want to escape the curses, man. You don't want to be uh, low. You want to be high, man. You want to be, uh, you want to keep up with the Joneses, man. But, but, but as you see, man, every day, man, in society, man, you niggas cannot escape the curses, man. That's why you got all these so-called celebrities, all right? I say so-called because we the, the elect is the true celebrities, all right? You got these so, so, so-called celebrities, all right, selling their soul, all right, to uh, to gain on this side, man. But when your hard shot return, you're not going to have nothing to offer, man. Right. And these celebrities, these pastors, man, they said they in that in category. That's right. You got something, brother? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. I, uh, I can't find it. Yeah, get, get, get uh, Jeremiah, the fifth chapter, I think it is. You know, starting about like 20-something. You know, because, yeah, right, they, they, these pastors, they choosing to, uh, you know, they don't want to live in the afflicted. Right, like the brother said, they don't want to be afflicted, man, you know. They just want to live in sin for a season. Because they probably know the truth. They know they're going to come back, man. At the end of the day, the most are going to be merciful to them at the end of the day. And that's what they just choosing, man. They ain't got no integrity. That's why they going to take the chip, man. Yeah, who has something? Oh, you got no other pool? All right, this is Jeremiah 5 and 20. It said, declare this in the house of Jacob and publish it in Judah, saying. Yeah, that's what we're making known, you know, the scriptures. Go ahead. Saying, hear now this, O foolish people. Yeah, because they foolish. Our people are foolish, man. Here it is. They listen to a philosophy of a damn, a person that afflicted them all these years and put, through the, put them through all this torment. You got to be a damn fool to, to, to and that's why the scriptures say the, the, the discourse of a fool is irksome. You feel me? The the discourses, the the thought, they thought process, the way that they it takes it in and b- bring it out and process the information in, go about the things that they doing. Yeah, what scripture that? Yeah, read that again. No, bro. I got. I'm gonna bring this just for what you just said. It's uh, Ecclesiasticus uh, chapter twelve and ten. Say, never trust thy enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Yeah, right. And Esau is, uh, is our is our enemy, man. As uh, brothers always make mention, hey, if, if, if the so called white man our friend, all right. If a friend do those things to you that these devils did to us, if a friend would do that to you, then I don't want no enemies, man. What would an enemy do then, man? Mm-hmm. All right? And, and now what these niggas doing, they trusting in Esau's philosophy. They, they trusting in Esau to save them, man. Yeah. Most I said publishing Jacob, you know. At the end of the day, that's what this message to. You, you Israelites, go ahead. It said, hear now this, O foolish people, mm-hmm. and without understanding. Yeah, right. They, they uh, reprobates. Go ahead. Which have eyes and see not. Yeah, which have eyes and see not. Right. They don't see the prophecies. They ain't watching for the, uh, the, the collapse of the dollar, this economy. You know, they don't see things going downhill. They see things going up from here. Go ahead. Which have ears and hear not. Yeah, they don't hear, they don't hear the word, man. You know? They natural men. 
That's why the scripture said, natural beast, natural brute beast, man. Made to be destroyed. Made to be taken and destroyed. destroyed That's right. why. Because they, they, they beast, man. Yeah. You, you have something? Yeah. Uh, Jeremiah yeah. 2 and 25, it says, uh, Withhold thy foot from being unsured, and thy throat from thirst. But thou sayest, there is no hope. No, for mm -hmm. I have loved strangers, mm -hmm. and after them will I go. <laughs> and one thing they... One thing they say, they be like, there's no hope. Like, mm -hmm. We say, uh, you know, we're going to, the kingdom's going to come and so on and so forth. But they, they look at it like there's no hope. There's no, uh, you know, brighter future. They think, they look at America and they see that this, this is just it. You know what right. I'm saying? We ain't, get, we ain't getting out of here. We just, I go to, four, right. I go right. to uh, Jeremiah and 2 and 14. When to the word hope, it goes back to the to the word expectation. Huh. So there's no hope, right, because they're not expecting nothing no, better. They're they not <laughs> expecting nothing better to come from this. That's yeah. right. That's what hope goes back to, because the scripture talk about what? Hope deferred, hope deferred make it the heart sick. Right, yeah. So when your hope, your expectation is being blocked, blockaded or, you know, uh, uh, thrown off, then that make you sick. Right. So that's what the hope is, right? That was a cold scripture. They don't, got, they don't got no like hope. Jeremiah 2 and 14. Oh, real quick, real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing, they be like, they be, uh, they look at Esau. He got all these different inventions and science and all that shit. They look at him like he's mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. and we, 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 mm -hmm. we might mention mm -hmm. something about the UFO, so-called UFOs and chariots. Mm -hmm. They don't believe the most I can do something like that. They look yeah. at Esau mm -hmm. and shit like that. Oh, hey, Esau can make a damn uh, plane, but the most high can't make it. Uh, right. And the most high, the one that gave all this technology that Esau has, the most high been had that technology. Yeah, that's ancient. That's ancient, a, that's ancient technology. Ancient. The Lord just gave that. Ancient. Uh, damn, damn, about man. ancient. Thousands of years ago. Oh, that's ancient. Right. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 2:14. It's well, it's like let me start at uh, let me start at 12. Oh. It says, "Be astonished, O ye heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. Be ye very desolate, saith Yahweh, for my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, mm -hmm. and hewn th hewn them out mm -hmm. cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Is Israel a servant? Is he a horn-born slave?" Why is he spoiled? Yeah, cause, cause the, the condition that we are in, as the brother said, is hey, cause you hear a lot of niggas out here, oh, oh, what we supposed to do then, you know, or, right. oh, we they they believe them living in the projects, all right, of uh, being on a uh, every two week income, all right, or having enough money just to uh, take care of bills and then make it to work for the next day, next week, man. They believe that's how life's supposed to be. They don't believe that uh, things gonna get better, man. Here it is. Israel's so busy trying to do it themselves, man, instead of waiting on the Lord, man. You got niggas out here selling dope, selling drugs. Hey, like uh, uh, Gucci got a song called uh, Rich Nigga Shit. How much money can just one nigga get? You got Jake in a race to get this money trying to uh, uh, keep up with the Joneses, man. Right. Instead of just waiting on the Lord. To for, and they doing all this to forsake the Lord. Yeah, right. Something that's worth nothing to forsake. And then he said broke out them uh, cisterns that can hold no water, man. These philosophies and things that, and they can't hold that, man. They can't hold this new order. I got a precept, man. It's uh, 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 Judges ten and thirteen. It said, "Yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods. Wherefore I will deliver you no more. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your and tribulation." That's for Christians, man. You Christians. That's what y'all gonna say, right? And even people who know the name of the Heavenly Father and the Son, man, they be gonna say that, right? You, did you have some more on that? Was uh, that it? Yeah, that was it on that one. You want more of this? Uh, I, yeah. Oh, uh, no. Um, what you have? Oh, I just read that Judges 10 and 13, man. I can go back to uh, uh, Jeremiah 2 and uh, 20. Go back to uh, Oh, you get that Titus, but I'll show you. Uh -huh. As a thief is a shame when he is found, so is the house of Israel a shame. They, their kings, their princes, and their priests, and their mm -hmm. prophets, saying to a stock, thou my father, into a stone that has brought me forth. Shit, sure, right. Into a stone praising these inanimate objects. Things that got no life in them, man. And Apostle Rumla was going in on that the other day about them false gods and things like that, man. Yeah, man. Jake, man. Jeez. And what they <laughs> do for I... things that cannot save them, man. Because mm -hmm. here it is, you got Jake worshiping uh, all these different uh, idols, man, that cannot save you, man. You got Jake worshiping a cross, man. It, uh, I don't even like saying the name of my uh, Jesus Christ, man. But but in the, in the time of trip, hey, the thing is, the thing. This is this is the crazy thing about it, man. Yahweh Shem is the one who's about to bring this judgment, man. You know why not worship the one who's bringing the judgment, man? You you want to worship something that that don't got nothing to do with what's about to take place, man? That's why it be some days that I I be I be real happy, man, that I'm on the on the right side of the fence, man. You know, chasing life, man, instead of death, man. 
and Jake, you know, in that Egypt mythology, you heard said that shit. Mm -hmm. They uh, worship in the sun, they worship mm -hmm. the black woman and shit. They mm -hmm. worship the creature. Woman is God. Mm -hmm. How you get here? The woman brought you. Right. And it, and it be it be the it be so and Christianity simple. and Christians they got the same philosophy because yeah. it all so come from Mother Catholic. Mary right it yeah. all come from Catholic which means Mother Mary woman worship man right Queen of Heaven Queen of Heaven worship yeah. Christianity push that too man when the scripture clearly tell you that men and women are not equal but Christians you know yeah it's so like you you had it, you oh, got this, it. Uh, Titus one and nine says you finish uh, you see, you see. yeah that was it oh hmm. uh, this Titus one and nine holding fast the faithful word. As he have been taught, that he may be and, able and, they, and, he, and that's what the Christians holding fast to. That ain't a faithful word, man. That's not a sound doctrine. Because who taught you that? Our slave masters, man. Mm -hmm. That's who taught you that. Go ahead. That's why you need to let that go. And get that first Corinthians, too. Or right, it said, holding fast the faithful word as he have been taught. Yeah, that, right. They need to let that go. That's going to be their downfall. Go ahead. That he may be. Because the scripture talk about being assured of who thou and learned them from. Okay. Roughly paraphrasing. You got to be assured of you learned it from your enemy. So you think he's telling you the truth? Go ahead. It's it lucky. says uh, that he may be able by sound doctrine. Yeah, by sound doctrine. Right, with good doctrine, right. You know? Healthy doctrine. That's sound. Healthy. Go ahead. Both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. Yeah, right. To exhort. What, what did you read? Uh, okay, yeah, right. Titus one and nine. He said to to what to, to exhort what? To, to exhort, to right? To lift them up, right? And we do that. That's how we lifting up, Jake, man. That's how we exhorting them through this word. Keep going on that. Verse ten. It said, "For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers." Right. Which these pastors, they vain talkers. They they don't nothing. They because they, they, they don't talk about prophecy. So that's why it's vain. It's just vain babbling. They ain't breaking out no nothing that's gonna uh 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 uh. Oh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Be beneficial to you in the future. So that's vain. Y'all, that we bringing out prophecy. Excuse me. And those uh, other Israelite camps, man. All right? I mean, which, which to a certain extent, they're teaching our people that uh, they're Israelites, all right? which is a true fact. But they ain't bringing out no damn prophecies either, man. They don't even believe They don't even believe that the R5D chip is the mark of the beast, man. The ultimate uh, trial that the Lord is going to uh, bring forth at the end, man. You know? Yeah. You had something up. Continue, finish that real quick. All right, it reads, uh, especially they of the circumcision. Uh, right, they, the, the, they of the circumcision, which is talking about the ones who know they Israelites. The one in that Nate, you know, them dudes down there. And here it is, these dudes down there in Memphis, Tennessee, marching 800 strong, man. Come on, man. Especially they of the circumcision. They're the main ones who need this. Hey, man. But you know how it goes. They sold out. Keep going. And it reads, Whose mouth must be stopped. Right, whose mouths must be stopped. Right along with these pastors in the Christian church and the Baptist church. If they ain't following the apostles and elders to start with the apostle of Tahar on down, man, a great millstone, and then teaching it to the church, don't they they need they mouths need to be stopped. Go ahead. Whose subvert whole houses yeah, teaching right. things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. Filthy lucre's sake, man, for money. See, we don't do this for money. We do this because we scared of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Christians do it for money. They do it for money to, because it's a Ponzi scheme. Christianity. Yeah. That's a damn Ponzi scheme. Uh, Christianity. Yeah, right. Because the pastor at the church, she know that about the 501c3, and she know that when them niggas come in there, she can say that this ties and it's going to the church, but really they get to keep it. That's a Ponzi scheme, right? Yeah, I, got a, I got a precept. Yeah, go ahead. This, uh, this, uh, this uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and 8, it says, For if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to battle? And that's what those uh, pastors are. They're giving off that uh, uncertain sound, man. Right. And if I could say this, then you got these niggas at IUIC going down there talking about, What time is it? War time. What time? War time. Carnal is Carnal. on. Carnal is on all, all outdoors, man. Yeah, and that, mm. they're they giving off that uncertain sound, man. That's mm. why ain't nobody preparing. For the, uh, the day of the Lord, Lord, man. That's why all, all, all these people, especially two-thirds, and you other nations, y'all just going to be a casualty of war, man. Right. That's why two-thirds is going to get caught off guard because they're not preparing, <laughs> all right, for that, uh, uh, they not, they hearing, they listening to that trump, that trumpet that's giving an uncertain sound, man. But I got right. another Because it's, it's wartime, but war this, time. Is, this is spiritual warfare. All right. You got some polite? Yeah, I'm looking for a All right, oh, let me get this. Uh, this, yeah. uh, this is Ezekiel, all right, chapter uh, 7. Verse 14, and it reads, They have blown the trumpet even to make all ready. 
Yeah, right. That's who. That's what we doing. We we blowing the trumpet, and we giving them a sound of war. Something bad coming. That's the trumpet that we blowing. Cause it was different type of trumpets that you blow. You know, when you on, when you a watchman in the ancient time, you in the tower is a different type for different events. So we blowing a war trumpet right now. You feel me? Probably the same type of trumpet that we blew when we went around the wall of Jericho. All right. All right. They, they have blown the trumpet even to make already, but none go up to the battle. Right, meaning our people ain't preparing themselves for what's to come. Like I said, we was talking about that earlier, man. Hey, our people, they, they like to do shit last minute. You know? For my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. All the multitude thereof. All the Israelites, men, women, children, babies, infants, old folks. You know, paralyzed folks, crippled folks, people, folks who got can folks who just got cancer, folks who going through chemotherapy. The Most High is on the multitude, man. Come. Folks who think you know, who think they Israelites, who, think, who know, you know, who think they, who think they doing just enough, man. Folks who hiding right, yeah, think they hiding, getting over on the Most High. You doomsday preppers, man, because hey, listen, man, hey, the scripture say you got to trust on the Lord, man. You got niggas trusting in they uh, uh, AKs. Trust it. They think that they got enough to uh, survive, man. They think that they they good, man. They think that they they they, they, they say I'm an Israelite. They got a Hebrew name. They 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 believe that they're good, man. Mm -hmm. Or they or they get on the uh, comment boards. All right, uh, armchair uh, Israelites, yeah. man. They save. They save, man. Go ahead. When the word save means to be rescued from danger. That's right. Let's I ain't not, not dipped in dirty water, man. Mm -hmm. Talking about you saved, man. The mm -hmm. word save means to be rescued from danger. And the danger. water that day, see, that's how you know these scriptures. Christians. They get the scriptures, misconstrued. They take it literally. Right. And when the scripture says it, it's a, 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 a parables, man. That's right. You know, they take the water literally when it's talking about, it really talking about the spirit of y'all by Shem and Shah. All right? That's the water that is talking about being immersed in and being, being baptized. I mean, you could do it literally, but they ain't really going to do nothing. They ain't really going to have no effect on your sins. You know? So, like, you, you got it. Okay. Uh, Jeremiah 8, the point in uh, uh, 9. So, like, 8. My bad, so, like, no. Points in 11. I'm going to read 10. So, yeah, and read 12, too, huh? <laughs> Jeremiah 8 and 10. It says, Therefore will I give their wives unto others and their mm -hmm. fields to them that should inherit them. For everyone from the least even unto the greatest is given to covetousness from the prophet even unto the priest. Everyone dealeth falsely. Mm -hmm. It says, For they have healed the hurt of my daughter of my people slightly, saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace. It says, Were they ashamed when they had uh, committed abomination? Nay, they were not at all ashamed, neither could they blush. Therefore shall they fall among them that fall. Yeah, sure. And that's and that's and that's talking. Hey, you could use that. That's Esau and Jay. That's the Edomites and you Israelites, man. Cause, cause Esau, you ain't ashamed of uh, misleading uh, of the nation of Israel. You uh, you you so-called leaders of the nation of Israel not ashamed. And two thirds of the, hey, you you not ashamed, man. Nobody ashamed uh, coming up against the heavenly Father, man. All right, that's why you you Israelites gonna fall amongst Esau, man. Are you yeah. going gonna to receive the same punishment that devil going to receive, man? And the majority of Israelites is the ones that's wrapped up in all these other philosophies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even no matter where you go, Jake always into some other philosophy, man. But he no. never, he never, he never uh, stick with one. He he move around. One minute he uh, uh, Jehovah, next minute he is a Muslim. All right, because you have a, a a spiritual connection with a higher power, man. You just lost, man. And I, and that's why and that's and, that, and that's a tool that Esau used. That's why everywhere you go, man, it's a, in the neighbor Israelite neighborhood, man, is a church on every damn corner, man. Got you niggas giving up, and it's man, mainly you nigga women, man. Cause I had a I had these pastors get rich off the off the nigga woman, man. It's mm -hmm. like uh modern day pimping, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, the nigga woman gets to church and do the same thing. First Corinthians thirteen eleven. Oh, sure. <coughs> Finishes y'all. It said, in the, uh, in the time of their visitation, they shall be cast down, said Yahweh. Mm -hmm. I will surely consume them, said Yahweh. They shall be no grapes of the vine, nor figs on the fig tree, and the leaves shall fade, and the things that have given them shall pass away from them. Oh. Yeah, man. So, hey, man, the day of the Lord, man. Hey, man, the day of the Lord. Hey, with the scripture, uh, Matthew 10 and 34, man. He, he, uh, I bring. I'm not bringing peace. What's it? Uh, think not that I come to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword, man. Mm -hmm. That's the day of the Lord, man. A sword is going. Uh, and the sword is what a uh, instrument of war. A, a, a instrument a of war, instrument. man. A killing instrument, man. All right. But it's right. A, and Christians don't tell you that, man. Right. To the top of your hand, you Christians, man. They too emotional. This gonna be like a response to the apostle, the apostle sword, man. And then other brothers did response video, you know. So 
You had some? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, First Corinthians thirteen and eleven said, "When I was a child, I spake as a child." Right. With children, when you when you a child, man, that, hey, that's how a child speak, man. They raise their voice, they scream, mm -hmm. they throw tantrums. That's what these Christians do. Cherry Hill or Cherry Love, she a prime example of that. You feel me? When they can't get their way, that's a child, man. And they speaking as children, man. Go ahead. When I was a child, I spake as a child. Mm -hmm. I understood as a child. Right, they understood. Children don't hurry up. Children don't comprehend sometimes, you know. You got to tell them over and over again, you know. Over and over, man. Go ahead. And it says, uh, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. Right, it says, but when I became a man, I put away childish things, man. And these Christians, they don't put away childish things, man. They had these, they too emotional. That's a childish thing. Yeah. Showing your emotions, wearing your sleeve, your emotions on your sleeve. That's a childish thing to do, man. Stumping. And that's what attitude, smacking lips. And that's what Christians do, man. That's what Christians do. You know, so anybody had anything else? Oh yeah, go ahead. This is Jeremiah 4 and 22 it says, For my people is mm -hmm. foolish. They have not known me. They are sodish children. Mm -hmm. They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Mm -hmm. And they don't have no, uh, uh, they don't know what uh, good is, man. The things that they think they're doing is good, like, uh, oh, we feed the homeless. Man, the Lord don't give a damn about that, man. All the right. Lord can feed them himself. The Lord, yeah, come. The Lord don't need you niggas to do that. Mm -hmm. All right, they believe, uh, uh, they be, oh, we're nice. Man, the word nice means foolish, man. All right, to be nice is, is foolish, man. They right. believe, oh, we pay our time, we, we get a church money. All right, our people foolish, like the scripture say. They gullible, too, man. They easy for they easily easily persuaded, man. You know, by some goods and glamour, man. That's what our people, you Negroes, Latinos, never send me on any of us out there, man. You Israelites. Y'all easily persuaded. You know? Yeah, gotta, you, you have I gotta hear a quick precept. Alright, this uh oh yeah, this second Ezra is nine. I'm gonna start at verse uh uh ten it says, For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Yeah, right. Because the most I said there in uh, Isaiah the 45th chapter, that he watched over Israel even when they didn't know him, man. That's why Jake ain't get consumed. The mercies of your house, Jacob, the, the son of Jacob, not consumed. Because the most High watching over us at the end of the day. He ain't completely let go of the reins. Because look know? at all the wickedness Jake out here doing, man. And then the Lord right. still take care of him, man, to this day. Right, and the most I could have Jake still in fucking slavery, man. Chains and shackles, The most man. I made that devil let up on us, man. Go ahead. And it says, uh... For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Right, have received benefits and have not known me. Right, get certain benefits from the so-called white man and don't know it's really from the Heavenly Father. Go ahead. And it says, and they that have loathed my law mm -hmm. while they yet had liberty. Right, they hate the law, man. When they got liberty to, to try to sit down and comprehend it. He who despise the word, go, go back to despise. He who despise the word shall be destroyed. The Christians despise the word. Cause if they didn't, they would. They would. They say he said publish and conceal not the heavenly father. You don't conceal not if you're a real believer of the scriptures. You publish and conceal not. Christians conceal certain things pertaining to the scriptures, man. You know? And to a certain extent, like now, we we we. I mean, we can't keep the whole law on this side, but we able to uh, rehearse righteous acts on this side. Right. But these people don't want to do that. Right. And there's certain laws you can keep. Yeah, come like on. Like not getting a line up. Yeah, not getting a line. Know? Not eating pork. Not, well, not having not, sex with another, another man's, man's woman. Group. Yeah, come on. That's certain things, because these people, man, they, they subtle to sin, man. These Christians, man. But you know, was you finished? You, you know, got some more. Ahead, and ahead, it, says, uh, it says, in, uh, and love my law while they yet had liberty, and when yet the place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Right, they reprobates. Word of understanding, understood not, but despised it. He who despises the law shall be destroyed. All right. So at the end of the day, that's what's right. coming to Christians. Unless they repent, any of you Israelites out there, unless you repent to your how about Shemir al Shah, come back to the lost that's commandments to the best of your ability, you, you're going to die. And this it right here. This is the point. It said, the same must know it after death by pain. Right, after death by pain. Yeah, like the, hey, hey, like I said, man, hey, like the apostles and elders say, most I could be throwing people down into the fire, man. Yeah, they spirits. They spirits. It's gone. When those missiles is coming, getting ready to hit. You know, people having pregnancies, giving birth, right when the missile's about to hit, baby, boom, boom, you know. Christians, <laughs> another Christian man, boy. <laughs> it come a million heads like you. But you know, hey, with that, you pray, we pray this is edifying. We give all glory around and praise to you. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Rakhak, 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 Rakh
Double honor, city of Pasadena, it was a great millstone with wealth. Peace and salutation, blessed to the I can push this word of truth and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom. Bye, bye, bye.